Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. I've been waiting for this box right here. And I can't wait to tell you about it. I made a trade and we're gonna open this up today and see how well we did, but we've got some good sales. So if you remember the last video, I said we had a ton of sale over two days and we did, we had like $1,600 worth of sales. And then on that video, I said we had had zero sales up to 5 p.m. the next day, which was really weird. We did have a few sales trickle in, about $145 worth, but that's gonna go on the next video because we still have to pack and ship a ton of sales from those two really, really good days. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're also gonna open that box. Got a few other things I wanna talk about as well and some good sales. Let's go take a look. Some of you may be wondering why my hat isn't on and it's because I got a date with my wonderful wife tonight and I don't want to mess up my hair putting on a hat and I got to redo it, you know, so that's why. I haven't turned the light on back here. Do that really quick. There we go. And if you also may remember the last time I sold Jesus, I sold a Jesus Funko Pop from right here that led to the scammer videos and the returns of rotten food and the forced return by ebay that they eventually made right and all that but well this time i sold god instead of jesus here so i'm gonna have to figure out uh where this is going make sure it's not going to the same place <laughs> any rate series five god family guy look we haven't sold a family guy in a while so there's still a few in there and we did really well on that sale if you remember that video on the commonwealth picker channel this one sold for $45 plus shipping, and we made a big deal. That's a fun video. If you haven't go, haven't seen it, I'd suggest you go and see it. It was Rod picking and punching, and Mike Deathpile Picker, and Leroy Blood, Sweat, and Sell. And I think it's probably time I go through that bin over there and figure out, you know, why haven't these sold? Maybe reprice a few and get the rest out of here. Maybe throw them on a whatnot. We'll see. I have, I think, 14 or 15 sales headed out of here today and one of them is to a viewer that left a message and one is to a repeat buyer so it looks like two viewer sales today this is awesome i picked this up at a sale it was a place i'd been to before and the prices were a little high and this time it looked like they were selling out so i was making offers and i think i paid like 10 bucks for this it sold for 42 dollars and it was on discount it was 45 at one point 42.75 for that one i think it's anchor hawking little pitcher i love that one so not a bad little sale, I'll take it. All right, I totally forgot to read this comment, so I'm putting this back, filming this after after the video. Hello, been watching for a little while now. Unfortunately, we found ADHD James channels first. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> any rate. Uh, but because of your content, my wife and I started a small store and a little hobby that we didn't know we needed, but it's still been a blast to find things as we as well as make mistakes and learn from them and cannot wait until this cold weather is over and sales pop up well awesome thank you very much that's james dusty box treasures hope you enjoy the picture i have somebody waiting for me here at the door kind of hard to handle all this stuff camera dog this giant tv in my hand right here it is a memorex dvd tv and it's got a little bit of damage right there but we still listed it and it's still sold so for good money so for 75 dollars Plus shipping, it's not too hard to package these up. You know, you get the right box, bubble wrap it, tons of paper, a little extra cardboard to secure it. Definitely worth the time and money for me, anyways. What about you? Boy, you're crazy today. I'll get you a treat. All right, y'all, you have to forgive me. I had to turn my heater on. I forgot to leave it on last night on low just to keep it kind of warm. And it's chilly in here, so sorry about that. This one is pretty cool. So you may remember all the picker videos where I'm out there searching for Taylor Swift CDs and some of them have good value. Some of them don't, so you know, don't necessarily pick up everything. But this one has good value. It's the lenticular cover. I never did find one, by the way. I'm gonna have to start the search this spring again, but a viewer sent this to me. And if I remember correctly in the message, they said I could keep it, I could sell it, I could do a charity auction or whatever. So what I decided was, since we were raising money for Mary, I decided to list it and give a 50-50 charity auction to Mary. We're doing 100% on a ton of stuff. And this one right here is headed out of here for $74.25, is that right? $74.95 plus shipping. That's the lenticular cover, almost like 3D. 
and those are pretty good if you can find that cover it does okay so thank you i cannot remember your name but a portion of that is going to mary's van and thank you to everybody there have been tons of donations and i'm still keeping track of mine all these sales coming in on different platforms and stuff which is awesome thank you and we're gonna make that donation very soon but i want to make sure all this stuff gets in and i got another thing back here that we're gonna to add to the list I pulled in an item, put it on the front porch yesterday, and I got to grab it really quick. But we have also made, just for those of you who want to criticize that, we've made a personal donation as well. So what we're adding up is all the other sales. So you guys who have participated in that, whether it's making bids or whatever, we're going to contribute that all at one time. So I just want to say thank you. That number keeps rising over there for her, and I know a ton of you are on there going through that link. And that is, I'm really appreciative of it, and I know they are. All right, here it is, front porch. Jake Hare, uh, it's a, I don't know, wheelchair, um, like cushion or something like that. It's made out of gel. And this was a buy boy. If you go way back on the picker channel, you probably remember me picking this up. I picked it up in the back of a trailer at the Escape from the Interstate sale two years ago. And it was a crazy good deal. Five, 10 bucks, something like that. I knew it would be long tail. But it finally sold. You got to find the right person. And these go for huge money, huge money. And so somebody out there needed one and paid, you know, we, we put it out there for $125, which seems like a lot. But for folks who are buying this stuff, you know, retail through whatever, I don't know how all of it's done for different people, but they'd be paying like five, $600 for one of these. And they got it brand new, $125 plus shipping. All right, let's pull one more item and then we're going to open that box right there and see if I made a good deal on it. And I got to find some backgammon pieces. And for the first time in I don't know how many years, I don't think I have one backgammon item for sale at the moment. And I might not be able to find this one. What the heck? Which is just crazy to me. Oh, well, there's part of it, I think. Dice. Where's the cup? Hmm. Hold on. All right, I looked through all those drawers and I could not find the cup. And I went back and looked at the picture and this is the exact dice that go with one cup that sold for $12.95 plus shipping. So I don't I don't know where it is. That is really odd. But I'll go see if I can find another one. I probably have some in the death pile somewhere and I'll figure it out. But hey, one cup and these, if I find the cup, sold for $12.95 plus shipping. Hey, I want to take a break for just a second and show you something that I bought in this video just a few months back. It was an arch top. It was a, what is it, Epiphone Emperor arch top. I think I'm pronouncing that right, guitar. And I think I paid $370 total for it, really not knowing what the heck I was doing, just knowing it looked awesome and there were some similar comps that showed some decent money. So I think after doing a little bit of research, that was worth 550 to like maybe 950 bucks, somewhere in that range right there. And before I listed it, my buddy Mojo saw it on that video and he's like, hey, how much you want for that without listing it on eBay? And I said, hey, how about this? How about I package it up and ship it to you and you send me a box full of stuff for whatever you think it's worth. He did a little Instagram with him playing it and he sent me this box, so I wonder if I made a good deal. I figure the best way to figure out if I made a good deal on this or not is to put it all on one whatnot show in the middle of March, let's say, and sell it all off starting at $1 each. Then at the end of the show, I'll know if I at least made my money back on it. These aren't high end, those Maestos right there. This is a cool hat, I like this. An HRA, got a Jeff Gordon hat. Oh, I love this one right here. The Grand Old Opry three striper. That's a cool one. Daytona 500. That's an awesome one right there. I love the Miami Vice hat. I've sold that one before. Some cool jackets right here. What does that one say? Check this out. Upstream. It looks like an old members only jacket. Oh, it's even got the tag. Oh, no, that's not the tag. That's his tag on it right there. I love that jacket. This one is cool looking already right off the bat. Look at that. Is that John Deere? How about that? You gotta love that one right there. JD? Is that what that stands for? Either way, I love it. All right, Scorpions Sealed. Oh, I might have to keep that one for myself. How awesome is that one right there, y'all? You don't come across Scorpions Sealed very often. Very cool. Hopefully you can see this okay over here. This is an awesome double XL Harley shirt right there. Look at that one. Holy moly. 
That one is really, really cool. I love it. 1996. Here's an awesome sweatshirt. America, 1991. Some vintage Mickey here. Perfect fading on it. Single stitch Mickey. Love that one. A logo seven. Detroit Pistons. That's an awesome shirt. Oh my goodness. You know I love this stuff. There's a couple of them in there. Check that one out. All right, what do we got? Whew, I don't know about that. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I remember that. They got some camel stuff right here. I'm not sure what that is. This is an awesome looking sweatshirt. Operation Desert Storm. Oh, no way. Look at this. Grease. Is that single stitch grease shirt? You gotta love that one. Single stitch grease. Dilbert. How cool is that shirt? Got a Dilbert single stitch shirt. Andy Griffith right there. I'm sure that single st stitch as well. Page and Plant single stitch. Now we're talking right here, y'all. This is going to be one heck of an auction. Come on over and join us. There's still a lot more. Looks like there's a ton of records in here as well. Some really cool ones. And more Disney. The Beatles. That's cool. Spice Girls. There we go. You Spice Girl fans out there. And some other cool stuff down below as well there we go i gotta check one more thing out here and i'll let you get back to the video power slam wcw wrestlers i'm very confident we're at least going to make our 370 bucks back just on the apparel alone matter of fact just looking here just looking at these three pieces this is the big winner right here uh, there's at least 150 dollars to 200 dollars on ebay right there my guess is at least 150 bucks all this right here but we're gonna put it all over on whatnot we're gonna start it all at a dollar check out these records here you know as well wouldn't surprise me at all if we could get close to around eight hundred dollars for that right there it's a little bit more work but you know what he gets something that he really really wants and that's really what i wanted so thank you i appreciate it come and join us i don't know if i set the date for that one yet but by the time this video comes out you probably will see that one listed over there on whatnot go over there and find the bookmark if you've never joined us before we're going to be giving away stuff as well the march 7th show which is not this one we're going to be giving away a brand new sealed apple watch as well on that show go over there and bookmark that but go through the link because you get free money to spend if you go through the link so go and check us out over there let's get back to the video you know what y'all the more i look at this stuff i'm gonna predict over a thousand dollar show I, there's just no way there's so much stuff i didn't even put on this i pulled out other stuff i'm like this stuff is incredible so the shirts alone are going to just drive crazy money. So anyway, the records are cool as well. I don't know about the records being on that show because you can't do media mail on it. But we're going to put them out there sometime, if not on that show, on another one. But there is some really, really high-end shirts in here. There's probably three that approach $100 on eBay. So I'm really excited about it. Come and join us. All right, so if you've been following us lately, you know we are in absolute sell mode. So slightly bigger items, big items we're putting out there for good prices, including shoes because my shoe bins are full and I don't love to sell shoes, but these shoes are in pretty darn good condition. These LeBrons, I think they're size nines and we put them out there for a real good price, $34.95 plus shipping and they sold really quick. Here is the other one that I think is a viewer sale. It is a pen and pencil set. Miriam, I think that's the name, bought these. It says repeat buyer, so I'm going to assume that. And these I picked up at a sale for just a couple of bucks, and they sold for $15 plus shipping. See if I can open it for you with one hand here. There you go. It's Rosewood pen and pencil set. Pierre Cardin. Not a bad little sale. And an Anna Lee doll set. I think this one's 4th of July, and I'm going to have to pull it out. It's in the Montana bin. So, let's see if I can put that on the floor real quick. Whoop. <laughs> lost some mice right there. All right, hold on. Let me dig it out. All right, that did not take very long. It is a 4th of July set. Let me just double check and make sure I didn't have one, two, three, four figures. Is that right? Yeah, there's one in the back right there. Is that right? I only see three. One, two, three. Is there some back here? Yeah, there it is. No, that's the whole thing. All right, I'm very confused. Looks like there's a four. No, one, two. All right, I'm going to have to pull this out and figure it out. But either way, it sold for $45 plus shipping, which is definitely good enough for sure. Love that sale. Thank you to Miriam. If you are a viewer, I assume you are. 
I figured it out. There was one more with it. I was like, wait a minute. This one's not attached, but it goes with it all 4th of July. So it's not a bad set. $45 plus shipping. If you remember where I picked those up, I got them super cheap. I wanted to mention this real quick while I mentioned Mary a little earlier. This got sent to us by Mark, SMS Postcards. He sent us stuff before. Really, really kind guy. I've met him. And this postcard right here is awesome. Wishing you a highly entertaining Halloween. Look at what he had it listed for. And he took it off and he sent it to us. So Ellen Clap Saddle postcard. That is an awesome looking postcard right there. And he wanted us to auction it off for Mary's new van. So we're going to add that and it will be on there soon. And you can go check that out on eBay. If I get the dates right and everything. It should be March 4th for y'all, I think. Is that right? March 2nd? It's March 2nd today. Yeah, it's March 2nd for you also. I'll try and time that with this video coming out. Most of the time it's just a day or two later, but today we're like three or four days later. I don't have cats, dogs, or chickens here, but I do have a ring neck parrot named Sal. Oh, look at that. Sal autographed it. <laughs> we really do appreciate you very much. 30 years old and supervises me every day in the office. Nice to have some animals around while you're working. Sometimes you don't find comps for something, but you know it's kind of cool. And I was actually at a sale with... Um, Shad Juice in Cincinnati and came across these two ladies. There really wasn't much to buy there, but they were super sweet and they said they hadn't sold anything. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna find something to buy. And this was it for a buck. It is a planter, a mushroom flower planter to put it around your, whoop, to put it around your little pot right there. And I thought that was really cool. I don't know what, it's like made out of wool. Yeah, 100% wool. And it was a buck, and I'm like, yeah, that one's got some value. Somebody's going to buy it. It might take forever, but it didn't take too long, just a few months. Sold it for $14.95 plus shipping. So it even met our $15 limit. This one didn't, but it's a video game. Super easy, so we do video games if they're around 10 or above, plus shipping. Sonic Mega Collection GameCube game. Sold really quick. $11 for that one, plus shipping. Going along with our theme of selling very large death pile items that we're pulling out in the listing to make more space for incoming this spring and a massive buy that I think I'm gonna make here. We are listing them pretty darn cheap. This one could have gone for more than this, I think, but we decided to list it fairly cheap at $60 plus shipping and it's headed out of here very quickly. I don't buy Electrolux stuff as much as I used to, but I still buy it. And I usually part it out. It makes it way easier to ship it. If you're shipping that thing with the wand and all this stuff, it gets a little expensive. So I'd rather ship it out piece by piece and make some money that way. And some of the smaller attachments either bundle them together or don't sell them at all if they're not in very good shape. And there's still a lot of good money to be made in these. I try to avoid them if they need a lot of cleaning or if they don't look like maybe they're going to work because they haven't been taken care of. But... There's still a lot of good money in vacuum cleaners. I just avoid them a little more than I used to, or I'm a little bit more selective. Speaking of things that are fairly big, and I try to avoid unless the price is absolutely right, because there's a little bit of labor that goes into them. It's the rock band, like drum sets for video games. But there's still some value to be had in parts and pieces of those things as well. But man, some of them go for good money. You just gotta put in the work. This is the Beatles one. This is the Beatles one for the pedal right here. Whoop. And that Beatles pedal sold for, what did it sell for, $30 plus shipping? Just for the pedal, and that's super easy to ship for sure. Sold some walls, coveralls, and I like picking them up if they're cheap enough. I'm going to set it over here, I think. And this is a big set, vintage. I don't know if this is the zero, what is this? Hmm, zero zone. There's the Blizzard ones and stuff like that. They usually sell, but they're not the fastest sellers in the world. So I'll pick them up for five bucks. These sold for 30 plus shipping. I think I picked them up at 301 last year. So we had some pretty good sales today. Lots, you know, good little average sales price and all that. But uh, I still like selling these small multi-quantity things. And it makes those bad days a little better, right? And this was a good day, and it made the good day even a little bit better. This is the NWO WCW generic skull cap, and that one sold for ten dollars. I think we have twenty-four left. We've been selling them pretty steadily, and a little bit. That box will be around for a long time for sure. All right, Turner's got some Commonwealth comedy. What's your joke today, bud? How much do pirates pay for corn? How much do pirates pay for corn? I don't know. 
a buccaneer. <laughs> a buccaneer. I love it. Thank you. Hi. Hey, I'm in here doing some shipping, and I just wanted to point out something here. This is that TV. It's a pretty thin TV, but it is also pretty heavy. Fortunately for me, it is only going to North Carolina. This is actually going to go ground advantage, which surprises me a little bit. It's a little cheaper than UPS. If it was farther away, it would be UPS. But this is only going to cost me $13.12 to ship a TV, which is pretty cool. The vacuum cleaner is going to Connecticut, and this one's going to cost $19.24. Would have been $44 ground advantage, but UPS is way cheaper on this one. All right, Reagan's got a special friend in here. And while he's outside and wanting to get in to see this special friend, who's this right here? It's pistachio. Pistachio, and that is a hamster. And yeah. they bought it without telling me. And they hid it in the, her room for a long time. And I knew about it, but I didn't tell him. All right, should I let this dog in? Sure. All right, come on. Stay away from the hamster. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, look at that. A. <laughs> he likes to lick him, but I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't him. trust him either. <laughs> All right. Would you like to thank some folks here? Actually, one Ashley? person, Ashley. Yeah. She, she bought she a, got number, a two number two and, and two tumblers. Two tumblers, and you're gonna need both hands to fend off this little fiend right here. Let's say hello to Pistachio, y'all. Very cool. I like him. <laughs> him? I assume it's a yeah. him? Okay. <laughs> Back um, off. All right. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthbaker.com. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are going to uh, head out of here today. Just want to say thank you for joining us. I got to ship some big things today, but it was a really, really good profit day, so that doesn't bother me at all. Putting in a little extra work for a little extra money. And don't forget, we're going to be doing that whatnot auction. We got tons of them going on. We're pushing really hard. We haven't quite got to our goal of clearing a lot of this stuff out yet. So we're going to keep on the whatnot trail until a lot of it is gone. And come on over and join us. If you've never signed up, go down below and hit that link. We appreciate it. We appreciate all of you. Hope your sales are going well out there. And garage sale season for us, anyways, it's right around the corner. I can't wait to get out there. And I can't wait to see you next time.